Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. This is a chat style video. This is not a channeling. I wanted to respond to um, this whole topic of gender and spirit. And I think it's really important to address this because, especially because I just got a wonderful email from a transgender non-binary person. And I have to be honest, super transparent, because that's what I am. I didn't know what non-binary meant. I mean, I know, I know what transgender means, but not non-binary, what does that mean? There's so many, you guys, there's so many different classifications of identification of gender that it's so confusing now all of a sudden. And I wanted to, first I'm gonna look, I looked it up, I haven't read it yet. I looked it up, so I'm gonna to read to you the definition of non-binary and what that means. So we're gonna have a conversation about gender in the human context, and then I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about it in the spiritual context. Now, it's a busy, day, it's a weekend day in my house, and so we might get interrupted, and that's just the way it's going to be, because I really wanted to connect with you about this issue of gender and spirit. So, I didn't know what non-binary meant, so I'm looking it up, and I'm going to share it with you, because I like to be real transparent like that. So, understanding non-binary people, how to be respectful and supportive, is this, this is from the National Center for Transgender Equality online, it was one of the first ones that popped up, it's from October 2018. So non-binary defined, most people, including transgender people, are either male or female, but some people don't readily fit into the categories of man or woman or male or female. For example, some people have a gender that blends elements of being a man or a woman or a gender that is different than either male or female. Some people don't identify with any gender. Some people's gender changes over time. People whose gender is not male or female use different terms to describe themselves, with non-binary being one of the most common. Other terms include genderqueer, agendered, bigender, and more. None of these terms means exactly the same thing, but they all speak to an experience of gender that is not simply male or female. Interesting. Okay, you guys, so I don't know why we need all these terms. Maybe because there are different levels of understanding and compassion in society. That's probably why we need different terms because some people are just not with it and don't get that people have different ways to express themselves and to, are created differently in the world, and some people just don't readily accept that. Maybe that's why we need that. A little sassy Bridget there, commentary. But this, this explains spirit. The non-binary, I don't identify with a male or a female essence or energy. That's what spirit is, you guys. This transgender, this new kind of it's not new. It's been around for like ever. We just haven't had words to articulate it and lots of people haven't haven't found each other or figured out that it's accept I don't want to say that it's acceptable, but that more people are coming into awareness and awakening. Just like people awaken to their intuition, their spirituality, people are awakening to their gender. I that's what I think. The spirit of things is non-gender. Like that you guys, oh my gosh. Oh, it cracks me up. It's so ironic, you guys. When, especially like politicians or some like community leaders and things can come out super strong um, with their values and beliefs about things that include very specific man or woman or defi definitions of marriage or definitions of love. <laughs> and it's so crazy because I'm like, this person that's so not in understanding and not in compassion, like people that are like anti, like gay or transgendered, whatever, people who have anti views, rude, people that are really rude about that and talk about that openly and are jerks about it. Let's be honest. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> I'm not holding back here on this one. They have been women before in past lives. So, particularly one, I'm thinking of a figurehead who's a leader 
who is not for gay marriage, is not for transgender stuff, is, is changing laws and things about military transgender people. I mean, it's just ridiculous what's going on. But those people have been women. Those men have been women. Everybody is male and female. You guys, in spirit. We have two big meridians that run down our body and then a couple big ones that go across our, our shoulders and our hips. And energetically, we're all both, which means everybody in spirit is transgender. <laughs> mm -hmm. So in the afterlife, my friends, just know this. Know this when you get all whipped up like I just did about politics and governing people's bodies and values. <clears throat> just know that in the afterlife, when you bump into those people, you can say, mm, I told you so. Oh, oops, looks like you're a girl and a boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I bet you're feeling kind of bad about that now. There's an opportunity for gloating in the afterlife. Just so you know, those people that were all about the hate, you can say, see, <laughs> you know, because the people who are accepting and understand that love is love and unconditional will go right in the VIP line into the afterlife. And the other people that were so rude and mean and trying to impress rules to control people's bodies and their thoughts and their minds and their expression of love as what they think is other people that they people in power think is right and wrong then they have to wait in the long line they're going to be waiting a little longer but the rest of us who are compassionate and loving and understanding about love is love we'll just go right in because that's what it's all about love that's what's at the core of spirituality that's what's at the core that's what jesus represents that's what the universe represents. That's what heaven and the afterlife represents. That's what spirit energy is. It's just like this loving energy. It's just a state of flow of love. And it's pure and it's whole. And there's no need for approval or definition or identi and identification. It's just loving. It's so awesome, you guys. And I hope that for those of you who are watching this here at the Bubble Life channel, that you can totally relate to that and celebrate with me. And I know it gets confusing for those of you who are not sure about that, like whether or not you're, you're, I, you identify as a male or female or whatever. I can tell you right now that when you do past life regression stuff or you connect with your past life, it's kind of weird at first to go, well, yeah, I was totally a guy. And you can totally identify and see how you present as a male. I do. I feel that. But yet I'm very female in this lifetime. And my preferences are, you know, to have a spouse that is male. And so, but that's like no big deal. And whose business is that anyway, you know? So particularly because I got this sweet email from a transgender youth that's non-binary, I wanted to talk about this concept of gender and spirituality. And yes, I know that people are going to have a lot of different opinions. And I was pretty fiery in this video, pretty fiery. And, but that's just the way it is. And it's okay to have different levels of understanding but the commonality is the understanding piece the want to understand that is the intent that is the standard is the wanting to understand even if that's not for you that's fine even if you don't understand it that's fine but you want to understand you have a general desire to be compassionate and loving and there's like this baseline of understanding that just it's just love is what connects us. And there's not a lot of definition in there. And that's beautiful, although it can be complicated. So this this is like this non-binary thing is totally new to me. Like I didn't know like that there's a term for that, but I'm like, oh my gosh, it's totally spirituality. That's what that's what gender is like in spirit. There really isn't gender. Gender is a body thing. But Energy does have male and female attributes. It's like an axis, you know, it's a balancing point, a male and female. And so there is the representation of energy flow that feels um, divine masculine or divine feminine. There is that, but it's not in the context of like gender specifically as body. Okay. 
so I mean, it's interesting. We can have so much conversation around this. Like, what does divine masculine mean? What does divine feminine mean? Who do we identify as divine masculine representatives? Like, is it Jesus or is Jesus feminine? Think about that one. Loving, honoring, healing nature. Hmm? Think about that one. What roles do we typically identify as male or female? Do we have nurturing roles primarily divine, defined as female, motherly? Well, what about men who are very nurturing and loving? What does that mean? What does that mean? And is that acceptable in our society? And are there different levels of cultures and parts of the world that perceive these roles differently, that honor some of the roles more than others or degrade roles more than others? There's so much information. We could just chat about this so much. There's so much you could explore in the context of gender and spirit. So, wow, thank you. This was so interesting to me to talk about this. I do also want to say that if you've had a private session with me, I talk about this. I specifically talk about angels because I work with angels a ton. They're non-denominational. They're not identified with a specific religion, religious belief, religious practice. They're just non-denominational. They're multicultural. They're diverse angels. But I identify them with a gender. I give them a personality that helps our minds to connect better with them, with their name as a male or a female. We can I kind of formulate this understanding based upon our cultural experience, based upon our society experience of what human, human experience is like. And so when I talk about angels, I say they're androgynous. Androgynous, which means they're not masculine and they're not feminine. They're both, they're all of it. They're non-defined. But when I talk to you in session, I will identify them as male or female. And you'll probably notice that I have a lot, I don't want to say a lot of males, but I have a pretty good mix of both, actually. But I also am usually very careful to say, just because I identify Archangel Gabriel as a man, as a male energy, as dominant, that doesn't mean that that's how you'll identify Archangel Gabriel energy. You might identify Gabriel energy as very feminine. And... Truthfully, Gabriel, for example, he's a perfect example because to me, he's like my gay friend. Like he's so sweet, so gender fluid, so loving, transgendered. I mean, he's just awesome. He's like my fun gay friend, you know? And I hope that doesn't offend anybody by me saying that, but that's like, when I grew up in the 90s, that's kind of how it was, you know? And so, but that's his vibe. I love him. He's like one of my very favorites. I love him. I love him. I love him so much. And but but for you, he might show up as a woman, as a nurturing, loving caregiver, because Archangel Gabriel often helps with connection, communication, and relationships. So family relationships. If you don't have a mother figure that was strong for you, Gabriel might show up as that. And you might need Gabriel to be a woman or a strong divine feminine energy and showing up for you. But for me, hmm. Kind of masculine, but very kind of gender fluid too, in a fun way, in a really great, loving, freedom of expression way. All right. Okay, so this is Bridget. Wow, I'm really curious about the comments on this one to see. <laughs> hey, I have opinions and views too. It's just the way it is, right? Wouldn't you rather know than for me to pretend like, oh, I don't ever have any opinions? Yeah, I think you'd rather know. So this is Bridget. This has been a chat video here at Above Life Channel. The purpose always with all the videos is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope because this is your life. It's your life. And your job is to live it. Just live it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching.